first 2011's exclusive insider sessions drew to a close, RuneScape lead designer Mod Mark took to the stage and offered a sneak peek at some of the exciting content fans can expect to see in 2012 and beyond. So the stuff I'm going to talk about now is kind of like a little window into my mind, I guess. A little window just so you can understand the kind of ideas that we want to develop or I want to develop as a lead designer. So one of the things that I'd really like to do next year, and as you know, or hopefully you know, the Olympics are in London next year. And we're a British company, and we're very proud of it. And we'd really like to do some stuff to do with the Olympics next year. So I'd like to come up with a whole load of different events and different games where you can win gold medals, silver medals, bronze medals, but all different versions of things in the Olympic Games, but just a bit more runescape -y. So I was thinking about the cycling. You know, cycling's a bit strange, and they have these team sports where they're all cycling at the same time, and they're trying to catch up with each other, and it's kind of like a weird kind of relay race. So imagine if you're on the back of a battle tortoise when you were doing that. How cool would that be? So you've got a bunch of people in battle tortoises all running around a track, handing a baton over to each other, you know, watching their speed or trying to work out how much energy they've consumed as they're running around the track. That's the kind of thing that I'd really like to do. Of course, javelin throwing would be a lot of fun, but I prefer the idea of kind of aiming at a goblin who's like running around on the track. So, you know, distance is important, but penetration of goblin, you know? How far can you stick that javelin through your goblin? Is he embedded to the floor? Can he move or not? That kind of thing. That's really what I'd like to do. So this is a graph massive graphical rework, rework that we've currently got planned involving the player kit. Now, as you know, the player kit in the game has been the same for a very long time. What you're actually looking at here is a selection of bronze gear, so really, really early level equipment. Um, which really trying to bring all the equipment up to the standard of the gear that we release with, with new content, you know, like your Torvas and things like that. We really think that we can improve the quality of the stuff that we're doing. We really want to give the idea to the player that uh, they are, um, you know, their equipment is growing, their equipment's getting bigger uh, and more powerful and therefore more, more defensive. It's a little odd sometimes when your bronze and your iron and your steel and your mithril bodies all look pretty similar. They're just a slightly different color. So we're focusing on the armor types to start with. Um, then we'll be moving on to the weaponry. This is something which I'm currently calling the player-owned port. What I'm trying to do with this is something a little bit different. We have a few things in the game which is almost like offline training. When you do things like Throne of Miscellanea, you've got this concept that you've got a whole bunch of people that are working for you and gathering resources for you. Let's just think about it a different way. Let's say you build a port. Let's say you build a few little houses, and you're trying to attract different captains to your port. You're trying to attack, attract different side of boats. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to equip them with, you want to equip them with all the gear. You want to give them the uh, monies that they need, and you want them to go out sailing to find you what we're calling recipes. And recipes are going to be something that will allow you to suddenly uh, find rare resources and use those resources to create top-end equipment to the game. And I'm talking about equipment from 85 all the way up to 99. I really like the idea of you having a, a group of people that you're looking after. I like the idea of you paying these captains to attract different sorts of crewmates. I like the idea of you saying, OK, well, I'm going to give you lots of money uh, so you can go off adventuring all over the place, and you're going to be able to tell me where I can find these rare resources, or you're going to be able to bring these rare resources back to me so I can use my finishing skills to create some awesome equipment. Uh, tried to come up with some, with some ideas to do with the creatures that you killed when you, you know when you were first playing the game. So that is the Queen Black Dragon. I'm a big fan of films like Aliens. I really like the idea of these big mothers which have given birth to all these creatures and they're old and they're down there and they're sort of stuck to these egg tubes and you know we. We, we're always trying to be inspired by cool kind of ideas. There's lots of different films and, and things that have uh, kind of tried to use this kind of idea before. But I really like the idea of this kind of old dragon stuck down there. Now, the dragon kin, obviously, have created most of the dragons that you see in the game. Some of them are quite old. Some of them can talk to you. Some of them are quite clever. This thing will be nothing like you've ever met before. The next thing I want to talk about, and you might have noticed that I'm wearing a different t-shirt now, is the new website. 
So we're going to be launching a brand new website next, week, uh, next month, not next week. Uh, a brand new website, all singing, all dancing, a lot more attractive. And this is the logo, the brand new logo of RuneScape. So we've been working on it for a while. You can see it's slightly different. Uh, it's got a different kind of feel to it. But the website itself, you know, we're kind of moving away from that kind of old scrolly parchment thing which we've used for a long time. I know it's very fond, uh, dear to my heart. But the website is going to be absolutely amazing. It's really going, going to, uh, you know, almost revitalize uh, a, a lot of the, a lot of the um, the kind of non-game parts of the website. We're looking at doing things with our knowledge base, making it more exciting. We're looking at doing different things with our community pages, with our forums. Really, really quite cool stuff.